playing on the beat So you know that we're gonna do some customizing up in here. So today I have a video from D Soar. They sent me this wig. Let's see what's in there. A bonnet. I always like a bonnet. You feel me? Some lashes. These are some teeny little. These are some little tiny lashes, but there's some lashes at least. Okay, I got this 26 inch. 26 inch. There's 26 on the packet. Ooh. Ooh, yes, okay. 26, ooh, it is HD lace. Yaki straight, Kiki straight, whichever one I'll put uh, it down in the description box. It is a lace front wig okay um it looks like it's a 13 by 6 so you get um partial parting on the side you get mo majority of your parting in the middle and yes the hairline is pre-plucked but huh, we're gonna go in and pluck it even more to make it look natural you guys know how i feel about these natural hair um textures it's so nice and luscious okay so yeah we're gonna go in and bleach. So to bleach, I am gonna use Quick Blue with <laughs> 40 volume developer. And you're gonna need a tinting bowl and your brush, your tinting brush. Oh, here we go, and a tinting brush. So I'm gonna do one scoop bleach to one scoop developer, mix it up, and it's gonna be the consistency that I want. So I like to sit and let it fluff up a little bit. So I let it sit for about a minute or two and it'll start fluffing up. And this is the consistency I like because sometimes I like to actually push the um, bleach into the knots because it doesn't seep all the way through. So if it's fluffy like this and I'm pushing it through, it's not going to give me too much hot roots, which is okay because I can go back and fix that. But I wanna make sure that the knots are completely bleached. All right, so this is the voiceover portion of this video. All right, what's up, best friends? So all I'm gonna do is rinse off all the bleach. You wanna make sure that all the bleach is off of your lace. And because she's so brassy, like she's so brassy, you wanna use purple shampoo to toner, or you can use actual toner with developer, that is up to you, but purple shampoo is a little cheaper because you buy it in bulk, you feel me? So I'm gonna put some purple shampoo on there. I'm gonna be generous with it just to make sure all of that brassiness is out, out of this wig. What I don't show you is me actually shampooing this wig and I use my Garnier Fructis and I use my silicone mix to deep condition, okay? And um, I did leave the bleach on for about 20 minutes and yes so i'm gonna just make sure i wash her real good 
let the purple shampoo sit for a couple of seconds not too long because it is a very strong purple shampoo and you don't want to overtone your knots Okay, you guys, so it's been like two days after, since I've shown you the unboxing of this wig. So I, I let it air, I washed it, bleached the knots, let it air dry so the knots are bleached. This wig, I didn't pluck it. It came already pre-plucked. It's perfect. So like, I literally, all I have to do now is go in and do some baby hair. So I'm gonna go do that with you guys. But I wanted to tell y'all, it's like a weird, single braid in this wig like it's a braid like where did this braid come from i didn't put it in there and it's only one like why is it there like was this supposed to be a braided wig like what is this but also this hair is extremely soft like it's like butter and i wish you guys could feel this like i've never felt her hair this soft in my life like girl but anyway, you guys, so I'm gonna show you guys the hairline and then I'm gonna go in and do the baby hairs. Now, I kind of over bleached the front of the hair line, but that's okay because you can easily go in and fix that. But you wanna be very careful when it comes to this lace because it is HD and it can tear. So you see where I over bleached, but that's okay because we can fix that. So. Yes, like, girl, she's a nice. I think I wanna glue her down. Yes, I don't have any new glue to use with you guys. Well, I definitely wanna flat iron this off of my hair because it's a lot of hair. But honestly, you guys know how I feel about blow dry hair like I would definitely wear it like this because this is a this is a vibe and I'm not getting any shedding whatsoever it's just that weird ass braid that's in here like I, I just don't understand the braid I I don't understand where this came from okay so the braid is out this was the entire braid yeah it was interesting it has like thread in it thread but it's interesting that it was just this random braid in the wig but anyway I took it out and this wig is so realistic so realistic um I am gonna go ahead and flat iron it and then I'll come back so my favorite flat iron to use is from um, a Sedano titanium flat iron you could get it from Amazon or uh, Sally's yes and it comes in silver white and blue okay I got the white she look dusty but you know she put in work so you feel me that's the reason why my girl look like that but she get hot and she'll silk silk you out you feel me so yeah I'm, I love to use her um when you are flat ironing a texture like this you want to go slowly um with your passes you want to take not super thin pieces I mean like sections but like that enough eh, yeah because you you want to you want to get through this fast but you want to make sure that that texture is gone and, and you get it as silky as possible you feel me this video is sped up right here so I'm going actually slower than what I'm doing on this video okay but look at how she is flatting flat ironing out she looks so good you guys like oh my goodness <laughs> Okay, you guys, so this is the wig, completely flat ironed. It has a lot of movement. 
Um, when it comes to flat ironing hair like this, you definitely want to take your time. If you don't, you're going to see all the textures that's, that comes in this hair, okay? This is not a wig that's going to get super silky straight, all right? This is not her. She's going to have some volume. She's going to have some thickness. She's going to look like, um, you know, truly natural hair. You feel me? So I'm gonna go back and pull the hair back out of the way because I do not want it to get in the way. And so basically what I'm gonna do is, you know, guys know I like temple and sideburns, basically. So temple, sideburns. So I'm going to zoom y'all in. There we go. And basically, I'm gonna wet that with some mousse just to loosen it up in this area. If it frizz up a little bit, that's cool because we're gonna go in when I do the install anyway, and I'm going to press it out anyway while it's on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the hair down just like that. Super simple. Right? And then I'm gonna do the same thing for up here. I'm gonna go ahead. I like to pre-etch like how much hair I need because sometimes you could go overboard with baby hair. But since this is a natural texture, I kind of want my hair is a little thicker. I'm gonna cut them longer than shorter. Why? Because. Once I put it on, I can know, I'll could gauge how long or how short I want my actual baby hair. So for um, picture wise, you know, they'll just be longer. They don't always stay that length. So now I'm gonna take some mousse and I'm gonna go ahead, turn my comb flat and mold it downwards. Like that. And you just do the same thing. Don't have to be super perfect because again, we're gonna go back in later. So take some of my Got to be, I'm gonna spray that. So I'm gonna put her under the dryer, let the hairline dry, and then I'm gonna show you exactly what she looks like afterwards. And um, I have a new um, product to review for you guys. So if you guys wanna see that, I think I'm gonna do the, a separate tutorial with using that product. But it's a glueless method, so if you want to see me using a glueless method to adhere this HD lace, then make sure you watch part two of this video, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and sit her under the dryer, and I'll be right back, and I'll show you um, how she turns out and how she looks on me. I'll be back. So again, this hair is from Desore, okay? I have a part two of me doing a glueless method. Make sure you click my channel and follow me if you are not okay my name is sin what's up yes this wig is bomb and you cannot tell me you wouldn't wear this I, let's go to part two hmm